Greetings, pen pals. We have another inexpensive pen from China today. This is the Jinhao Model 75. So this is both named and somewhat styled to uh, to uh, mimic a, a very uh, popular vintage pen. Um, this is the Parker Model uh, 75 that um, Parker made uh, a few decades ago. Uh, the Jinhao uh, has a Parker arrow style clip, etc. Um, and the, the bands and stuff are in a few similar places, but it's actually not as similar a pen as you might think. Um, the whole nib, the style of the nib, the style of the section is completely different, uh, etc. So it's really not even a knockoff per se. It's really just um, uh, almost just taking the model number. One thing that um, it does mimic is um, this Parker was actually available in sterling silver and what was called a Cizale finish, which was essentially sterling silver with this grid pattern that's on the Jin House. So um, that was actually a very popular one. I don't actually have one of those. Um, this is a totally different finish. This pen was available in a lot of finishes. So anyway, so I think the, the thing that they're really trying to evoke was the Cizale finish that was very popular in the Parker 75 with this um, aluminum grid pattern, which is very, very nice. Um, don't get me wrong, but uh, but still quite a bit different than uh, than what uh, Parker was offering the 75. So this is definitely not like a knockoff pen really in any way. It is really quite a bit uh, quite a bit different. Size wise, we're talking about nothing out of the ordinary here. Here is the Jinhao 75 compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan. As you can see, we're pretty much right in line size wise with these uh, with these very, very popular pens. Can we compare it to some other Jinhao pens? We certainly could. OK, so here's our Jinhao 75 that we're talking about today. Um, here it is compared to a Jinhao uh, 629. This is a very, very popular $2 or so uh, uh, Jinhao pen that uh, comes in a lot of different colors and materials, uh, multiple nib options, etc. This is a very, very popular pen. Speaking of popular pens, here we have a Jinhao X750 uh, and an X450. These are extremely inexpensive metal pens with great number six nibs. These are some of my uh, favorite, favorite pens from Jinhao. So the X750 and the X450 right here. And in the middle between the two of them is the Jinhao model uh, 200 that I just reviewed uh, a little while ago. Also a really great acrylic pen in, from Jinhao in a really nice acrylic, which is kind of rare. So as you can see, we're, the sizes do vary, but just a little bit. So these are all very, very much in the same size, uh, size family. Weight-wise, we're talking about a predominantly metal pen. Uh, aluminum um, weighs in at 27 uh, grams. Um, we have this really nice grid pattern, which I think is just uh, just super looking. Again, mimics that uh, Cizale finish, which was really popular in the Parker pens. Um, we do have the Parker arrow style clip in black, and it does have this red adenized aluminum cap band which says uh, Jinhao on it, which is just, a, just I think, really nice accent. I think it looks really good. Uh, the finials on either end, uh, you have a little black dot on the bottom of the barrel, and you have a black uh, disc on the top of the cap. Um, it is a pull to uncap pen. As you can see, we have another little trim ring here of the same red adenized aluminum, which I think looks really, really nice. You have a long black section that is matte finish, so it's not a it's not a slippery metal section, um, but it's nice. It is it is also uh, metal as well. Um, the pen does post it posts nicely. Uh, I don't think it's back weighted. I don't think it's too long. I definitely use this pen uh, posted. Um, in terms of the nib, it's a really nice number five Jinhao nib in the black finish, which I think looks really really great. It's got the Jinhao logo and F for fine. It says Jinhao and it has some scroll work. And of course, it has an uninspiring plastic feed. Um, the pen, as you can imagine, is cartridge converter. It does come with a standard Jinhao converter, which is actually quite a nice converter, especially considering the very low price of this pen. Lots of metal here. We're not going to be eye dropping this pen ever. Um, um, so. That's about the, the parts here. Again, nice pen. Um, uh, uh, I think it's got a little bit of weight to it, which is nice. Um, I really like this pattern and this finish. Um, I think the the uh, the red uh, aluminum 
accents really set it off and make it look just a little nice and special looking. So all in all, a pretty nice looking pen. I think the looks on this pen are really, really quite, uh, quite sharp. But, 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 as we all know, looks really don't matter that much uh, when it comes to pens. Uh, the uh, proof of the pudding is in the writing. You want to see how this pen writes? I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, what we're writing with here today is a Jinhao Model 75. And this has a fine steel nib. And this writes nicely, so this is smooth. I would say the flow for rate from this pen is probably just about average, about kind of hits that sweet spot between uh, uh, wet and dry that is pretty, uh, pretty nice. Um, writes really, really well. Uh, not really going to see much in the way of flex here at all. I mean, you can squeeze a minuscule amount of variation out, but by no means is this a flex nib. Uh, reverse writing. as you can see, is actually uh, quite feasible here. And that would say that takes it down to an extra fine, which is actually quite, uh, quite a practical use for this. So all in all, pretty, pretty nice. Um, nice writer, uh, has a good feel to it. Again, this section is nice and long and comfortable. This uh, step down here is, is almost uh, non-existent. So it's quite, quite a comfortable pen to hold. Um, like I said, I do use it posted. It's probably long enough to use unposted, depending on your personal taste, but I'm a big fan of posting. One other thing that's worth pointing out is that it does have a, um, a um, um, I'm sorry, it does, it does not have uh, a, a formal plastic liner inside, but one thing I have found is, even despite that, this actually seals uh, quite well, and uh, it clicks pretty definitively, and I have not had any issues uh, with this pen drying out. So you do have that, which is pretty, pretty nice. Um, uh, all in all, a nice, nice writing uh, uh, pen that I've been uh, been quite, uh, quite pleased with. And again, very, very inexpensive pen. At the time of this writing, this is about a $5 US pen. Uh, so again, a pretty inexpensive pen from, uh, from Jinhao. So I think that just about covers this pen. Let's talk about this ink now for a minute now, shall we? Okay, this ink is from Diamine. This is Diamine. Poppy Red. And this to me is just a very basic red ink. Reminds me of like a teacher's correction pen. As a matter of fact, if you are a teacher and you want a red ink to correct papers with a fountain pen, this is the one I would recommend because this to me always reminded me of like a red teacher's um, correction pen ink. Or if you're an accountant and you want to write negative balances, again, good ink for, uh, for that as well. So it's a pretty basic uh, red ink. So here's, um, here's what the swatch looks like for Diamine Poppy Red. By way of comparison, it's quite similar to say Waterman Audacious Red, which is um, uh, a very basic red ink from, uh, from Waterman. It's a bit darker uh, and leans a tad more orangish than say Fred Rogers, uh, Birmingham Fred Rogers Cardigan Red, which to me is just a true, true red with like no hint of orange in it or anything like that. Whereas these guys, I think, just have just the barest touch. Uh, both of these, I would say, have sort of the, the barest touch of orange to them. So the closest one definitely would be the, the Waterman Audacious Red, at least what from the ones that I have. And we have Diamond Poppy Red, which is the one we're talking about here today. Um, so again, doesn't really have much in the way of features, etc. just sort of a basic flat uh, red ink. That's what it looks like on this Rhodia paper. We can take a quick uh, look though at what it looks like on Tomoe River paper. All right, as we said, what we're writing with here is Diamine. Poppy Red. And 
and um, that is what it looks like. Again, sort of a, not not a, a feature rich ink, not really much in the way of shading or anything like that, but it's a basic kind of flat red. Again, sort of a utility red ink, I guess I would I would call it. Um, so. Um, before I let you go, I do want to remind everybody, uh, if you wouldn't mind, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. That would be really, really much appreciated if you could do that. And as always, until we see each other again, I hope that will be soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.